The fundamental purpose of purebred livestock on America's Angus trails is to improve the average quality of beef cattle. The successful breeder of purebreds raises the kind of cattle that gives the commercial producer the best results. Breeders get together at field days and other meetings to study desirable type. The show ring and the achievements of Angus in strong competition with other breeds may be credited with part of the breed's rapid expansion. An excellent job has been done by present-day Angus breeders and fitters. For the greatest success in the show ring, good care, feeding, and management go hand in hand. Besides feeding an economical, well-balanced ration, the good fitter exercises good judgment in the amount given each animal. Breaking the animal to lead is best started early in its life. Well, perhaps two are better than one for this job. Get along, little Dotty. There's pasture at the end of the trail. Grooming plays an important role in the preparation of animals for show ring competition. Daily brushing and curling are a part of the training job before the show. The animal is sprayed with a weak milk dip solution and brushed. Then the wet coat is marked with a curry comb or marker. The hair is pulled up with a stiff rice brush and last a comb. Putting on the finishing touches, and the animal is ready to meet competition in the show ring. Purebred breeders find a simple fence-type chute excellent for working their cattle. Here the cattle are secured for various operations, inspecting tattoos, replacing or adjusting neck chains, examining and treating infected feet, when cattle are confined, their feet are apt to grow unevenly and may require occasional trimming. A handy stocks in the barnyard simplifies this operation. Keeping the herd sires in large open pens when they're not in the pastures allows them sufficient exercise to keep thrifty. Boys and girls who enroll in a 4-H beef club or take part in future Farmers of America activities have the opportunity to develop an appreciation for good beef cattle. They also gain valuable experience in fattening beef calves for market and in the production and management of the beef breeding herd. Many successful breeders of registered Aberdeen Angus cattle today got their start in baby beef projects. Their early earnings from the projects were invested in foundation breeding stock. County agents and breed representatives spend much time and effort assisting these junior beef producers. They're ready to help with feeding and other management problems.
Yes, along Angus trails are great opportunities for the youthful stock racer. In a country as vast as ours, there are many varied activities behind the production of prime beef. The purebred breeder constantly strives to produce the ideal type of beef animals. These qualities are transmitted to commercial herds through the use of purebred bulls. Along the Angus trails, better herds of beef cattle dot the farms and ranches there are few producers left who are not aware of the greater returns to be derived from the use of good bulls. The production of purebred beef cattle in the range area affords producers of great cattle an opportunity to secure desirable range bulls that have been raised under similar climatic conditions. In the West, as elsewhere, the Bonnie Blacks are appearing in greater numbers. In the southwest, more Angus herds are taking their place on the range. More and better beef herds graze the improved pastures of the south. Eastern states are developing their steep slopes into more productive pasture lands. And these pastures are kept more productive through weed control and fertilization. In the north, large areas are devoted entirely to the production of feeder and grass fat cattle. Commercial production of cattle in the range areas and the fattening of cattle in the Corn Belt states are closely related Cattle feeding is one of the most practical ways of disposing of grain and roughage on the farm. About three-fourths of the fertilizing constituents of feeds fed to livestock are returned in the manure. Feeding operations largely maintain soil fertility when this manure is returned to the land. Grass-conscious cattlemen look to pasture improvement to increase their beef production. Beef production is a great industry. From the time the beef calf enters the livestock world until he becomes prime beef on the consumer's table, many people take part in the activities of his life. If the calf is a purebred animal of high quality, he may spend his productive life in a breeding herd. Or early in his life, his destiny may point directly to the pasture, the feedlot, and the nation's beef supply. Grass is responsible for the bulk of the beef supply, for a large proportion of all cattle slaughtered have received little feed in addition to grass. Even steers finished in feed lots have made their growth and much of their gain on grass. Angus steers are fast gaining and readily convert grain as well as roughage into beef. The market is the ultimate goal of all breeding and feeding operations connected with the production of beef cattle. Modern markets demand high quality beef. To produce higher quality beef, it's necessary to start with a higher grade of breeding animals. The packer buyers select Angus steers for their smooth, evenly covered carcasses with a maximum development of the high priced cuts of meat and a minimum of waste. This load dressed an exceptional 67.45%. Wherever stockmen gather on America's Angus trails, their interest is in the bonny black cattle that are converting our grass and bulky, unpalatable feeds into a concentrated, tasty, and highly desirable food, beef. Without cattle to process this forage into delicious, flavorsome beef, 
our great grassland agriculture would be of little value. Our herds and our grasslands provide a basis for better living by bringing high-quality, healthful beef to the nation's table.